Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be covering this sliding glass doors. That's for a friend. I'm going to start off by drawing out the pattern on the paper. pattern is going to be for two doors, so everything I do here, I'm also going to be doing here. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Bear with me guys, this is not perfect, it is just a freehand sketch. You can use frosted sheets that already have patterns, but this is just in case you want something a little bit different and the style is not out there or the pattern, you can make your own. I'm going to be making this design on two poster boards that have been attached together with tape because I need the design to be large enough for the doors. I'm going to fold this because some of the pattern would be on just one side so I can have an equal pattern on the other side. First off will be a freehand sketch of an oval shape. And I'll be doing it on one side so that when I'm done, I can just fold the paper and I'm gonna have the same pattern on the other side. The next thing will be to make circles and the first one is gonna be nine inches in radius. The second circle is gonna have a radius of seven inches. And the third circle is going to have a radius of 5 inches. Now I'm going to be drawing out patterns, starting from the top to attach them to the circles. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm going to clean up some part of the circles that I don't need to make it easy for me to know which one to use. The next thing I'm going to do is cut out the shape of what I've just made.
and I'm gonna be having these designs on a frosted sheet. This is from Walmart and I'm gonna be using three for this project. This is what it looks like after I traced out the shapes on the frosted sheet. Now I cut out strips that I'm going to use on the outer sides of the doors and then I'm going to be making small squares that are going to be at the corners. All I'm doing is following the design that I had drawn earlier. When cutting out the pattern, I made sure to do it slightly away from the line in and out so that at the end of the day, I will have a line that's going to be separating the patterns on the door. I pasted the first oval shape just to give me an idea on what I'm going to be working on before attaching the frosted sheets. They adhere to the glass well when you remove the film at the back and using a spray bottle to put water on the glass before attaching the frosted sheets. They have frosted sheets out there that have a lot of patterns. And if you find one and you're lucky enough, you can just paste it on the door without going through all this work. But if you don't have the one that you like, you can cut out the shape and the pattern just like I did and paste it on the door. Make sure to remember to always remove the air or water bubbles. You can use a plastic smoother or a damp piece of cloth just to make sure that it's all free of bubbles, but I'm gonna be using my hand because of the pattern that I'm working with. It is very important to make the cuts for the pattern slightly away from the line on the inside to give just enough space between the patterns. And after putting the one in the middle, I am done with the first door. Now I'm going to be moving on to the second door. And this is what both of them look like together. I used marble contact paper on the other two doors that are by the sides. There is a big difference from what it used to look like before and what it looks like now. And you not only have privacy, you also have a beautiful door. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.